Hello there, and welcome to Going Solar with Pivot Energy. Today we're covering another key reason businesses go solar, and that's to help them meet sustainability goals and have a lasting positive impact on the environment. Let's be honest, the reason Pivot Energy exists is because each and every one of us knows that solar energy can help cut carbon emissions and help take a huge step in reducing the planet's greenhouse gas impact. It's even in our company vision, Pivot Energy will be a leader in the battle against climate change. And over the past decade, we've seen company after company making changes to do their part to help reduce their carbon footprint. Most businesses these days have sustainability plans, and some even have entire departments dedicated to sustainability. This is because businesses and organizations understand that when they make a change, it is so much more impactful than any individual change that could occur. In this video, I'm going to review some of the data behind climate change, and then break down how solar can help you not only meet your organization's goals, but have a long lasting positive impact on the environment. First off, climate change is real. 97% of scientists agree that humanity is the cause of CO2 levels rising at a rapid rate. Pre-industrial revolution, carbon dioxide or CO2 levels had, a, had been rising, but only at a rate of 0.17%. You can see in this graph how quickly CO2 emissions increased post-industrial revolution and affected atmospheric CO2. In 2015, the amount of CO2 recorded in the atmosphere was 400 parts per million ppm, more than 40% higher than its pre-industrial value of 280 parts per million. Now these numbers may sound close together, but they have a huge effect on the temperature of the planet. Rising CO2 levels increase our Earth's temperature, and even small changes in that temperature leads to a plethora of devastation, some of which we're seeing the effects of today, including droughts, increased severe weather patterns like fires, more volatile hurricanes, tornadoes, and ever-increasing heat waves. There's sea level rise causing flooding in many coastal areas, and about a hundred other devastating outcomes that would occur if we don't do something now to affect climate change. The list is long and frankly terrifying. The problem affects everyone, everywhere, which is why climate change is being referred to as an existential threat to the planet, a threat to our very human existence. And while this may seem overwhelming, there is still hope. This is why we see nations and industries that are coming together to provide solutions to try to combat climate change. We all see the need to protect our planet and everyone and everything that lives on it. The world of business has always been of the greatest importance in the greenhouse gas effect. And for this reason, many prioritize sustainability. Businesses can support sustainability measures in many ways from encouraging telework or eliminating single-use plastics for employees. But some of the larger and bigger, more impactful measures is how they manage, use, and produce and consume energy. Reducing the amount of energy by upgrading windows, HVAC units, lighting, and other old equipment that utilizes a lot of electricity can have a huge impact on reducing the total amount of energy that they're consuming. They can evaluate their supply chain and look for more sustainable solutions that consume less energy. And finally, and most importantly, making the switch from a fossil fuel power user to a clean energy power producer. That's right, going solar is sustainable. It says we care and it saves you money. It's pretty obvious that solar is a renewable energy source, meaning that there is no limit to the supply but it is also zero emissions. Unlike fossil fuels like natural gas, which are also defined as renewable, the sunlight is everlasting. It's not going anywhere. We will never run out of it. And because we are not burning fuel and we are simply converting light into electricity, there are no emissions. We recently finished a system that's estimated to produce 14 million kilowatt hours over the lifetime of the system, or 700,000 kilowatt hours per year. 
The equivalent impact of this energy production can be looked at in a number of ways. The icons that are scrolling through here gives you an idea of the environmental impact of this single system in one year. The simple fact is that one kilowatt hour of electricity generated from solar is one less kilowatt hour that has to be produced from burning coal or natural gas, which emits carbon dioxide and other greenhouse gases. Also, because the solar arrays are on site, the generation is happening at the source where the electricity is going to be used. This requires less electricity to be produced to get to that point of consumption. Also, solar is not the way of the future. It's the way of the present. It's happening now. It's been happening. Many businesses and organizations have already converted their energy sources to solar and are seeing the economic and environmental benefits associated with those systems. Since 2010, the price of solar has fallen dramatically from over $5.50 a watt to less than $1.50 a watt. And that's an installed price comparison that you can use to compare solar installations. And now, Utility-scale solar projects and wind projects are now cheaper than energy generated from coal. In addition to falling costs, or perhaps due to falling costs, solar is now the fastest growing new electric generation source. But even with that rapid growth and the lowest prices, solar is only 1.8% of the total energy mix. That means we've got a lot of opportunity for growth to reduce those carbon dioxide levels. It's also important to note that the structure is in place for businesses to go solar. There are policies available in most states that allow for solar adoption. These policies also spur incentive programs that are available in many markets, and these incentive programs help businesses reduce the cost of their system. Most incentives are tiered or have time limits or capacity limits, so the sooner you take advantage of them, the greater the savings for you. Financing is also in place that can allow for installations with no upfront cost and rates that are less than you currently pay to buy electricity from burned fuel. In many markets, the solar internal rate of return, or IRR, is in the 10 to 20% range, so long term it makes financial sense. Also, what return are you getting from your electricity bill? None. If you want to learn more about any of these particular topics, we have videos that go more in depth about solar policy, solar incentives, and solar financing. But the important point here is that the structure is in place to allow you to adopt solar. All right, so we covered why sustainability and reducing CO2 levels are so important for the planet, how solar can be a major solution to reducing carbon dioxide, and how the structure to support solar adoption is already in place. So what else do we need? We need you. Only you can make the choice and be part of the solution. Without individuals within companies prioritizing the need to address this issue, change does not occur. We know there are busy schedules, limited resources, limited bandwidth, and priority placed on more pressing, urgent business issues. But that's why we're here. We can make this process easy for you and your business to go solar. And even if you're not a decision maker, you can be a solar champion within your company to help influence change internally and keep it on the discussion of the C-suite or the executive board's agenda. To quote Margaret Mead, never doubt that a small group of thoughtful, committed citizens can change the world. And indeed, it's the only thing that ever has. If you're interested in seeing the cost, savings, and other benefits of going solar for your business, comment on this video or shoot me an email. It's listed in the description below. Our team at Pivot Energy has combined decades of experience in the solar industry, and we'd love to help you go solar from planning, financing, building, and maintenance, and most importantly, make it easy on you to make that step. We post videos all the time on the basics of solar energy, solar energy for your business, community solar, and of course, all the ways you can save money with solar, solar incentives, and the ever-changing solar policies. But that's it for today. We'll see you next time.